Welcome, welcome back, everybody, to the Cirque Show 24-7, and we're about to get into the season premiere, the season premiere of Spartacus Vengeance, episode one, entitled Fugitives. So, you know what? Let's get into it, because I'm ready for it. I've been waiting for it. All right, this is what we've all been waiting for, you know, after a long hiatus, you know, after a prequel, after a lot of setbacks, you know, after, you know, a very heart-wrenching and very sad loss um, of the main character, who is Andy Whitfield. Um, we're back at it, all right? We're right back at it uh, with season two. If you don't count the prequels, this is season two. Spartacus picks right up, right off where it left you, where it, it kept you in it, where, you know, the kill them all, you know, it picks right up after, you know. And, you know, Spartacus Vengeance, it, it showed me, after watching this episode, it showed me how much I really loved Spartacus and how much I missed it so much. How much I missed the blood, the sex, the gore. Everything, the, the foul language, all of it. I missed it so much. And I'm glad, it, glad, I'm glad it's back. All right, now this first episode, it shows you the the repercussions and everything that happened right after, you know, uh, Spartacus and the slaves and everybody start rebelling and they all kill everybody from the house of Badiata. So they're leaving, uh, they're like on the run and they're rebels. And it, t it shows you how much how deep you know how deep they're really in it because you know they're on their own now they have to look out for each other it's not a lot of them it's not a lot of them to begin with and most of them are younger kids or you know um, women and a lot of them are not gladiators you know a lot of them are just young kids and just women so you know Spartacus and the gladiators that they do have you know they have to try to protect they have to still kill the Romans and they have to do a lot and it doesn't help that, you know, it's split down to two. It's just not Spartacus and the gladiators. No, it's Spartacus and his team of gladiators. And then you have Crixus and the Gores. You know, the Gores are the, the real, real manly men. You know, like Crixus, they're the champions. You know, they're... um. They're they're badass, just like Crixus, all right. They're the ones that can get the food. They're the ones that are tougher, you know, and they're just crazy. So and I like this first episode because it shows that um, you know, Crixus and Spartacus, they're two different, you know. And you know, Crixus, he he's powered by right now, like right now since uh we left him, he's powered by doing one thing his only motive in this whole season is to find his one true love navia and i don't blame her i don't blame him because you know she looks hot or at least in season one she did you know that they're, they're uh changing the character so that kind of sucks but you know that's his main goal is to find navia and he He's not letting nobody stop him. So that's what I like to see. And him and Spartacus, they butt heads a little bit. And you got to have that because th these are the main two characters. And they have the best chemistry. And what I like about the new Spartacus is the fact that he shows the same thing that the old Spartacus, you know, that Andy showed. You know, Andy had this thing about him that when you looked at him or when he looks at you, you know he's uh, serious. And he doesn't have to say shit. You know, he doesn't have to say a word, but he gives you that look and you can tell that he's serious and everything that he does it goes through him with, you know, with his facial expressions. And uh, this new character, I mean, the new guy, you know, uh, Liam, um, he's doing a great job. You know, um, I, when I was first watching this episode, he was giving me the same effect that, you know, um, Andy gave me when I first watched the first episode of Spartan Kids in season one. Um, I kind of uh, wasn't, I was kind of hesitant at first. I was like, oh, I don't really know. But once the episode started really going and started picking up, I was like, you know what? I like him. I, I, I'm I can get behind him, and I have faith in Spartacus. So that's what um, Liam is doing, and he is doing a great job of it. And, you know, a standout performance was um, in this uh, first episode was Lucy Lawless, who plays Lucretia. And, man, when she gets on the screen, you can tell that ah, this, this girl can act like And she, um, Lucy Lawless, man, she gets better with age, man. I mean, she is just drop-dead gorgeous. And, man, you can tell, man, after that season one, after Crix has stabbed her, man, she, she ain't really there all the way. I mean, she looks uh, fucked up, and, you know, she 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 doesn't know what's going on. She still thinks Navia is a servant, and, you know, 
she's it, she's all over the place, and I loved it. And um, you know, the expression on the um on Lithia's face was priceless, and um, she just freaked the fuck out when she saw her. And that made my day. And she was calling her the thing, like, kill the thing, kill the thing, and all that. So I thought that was good. And, you know, just her whole expression. When Lithia saw her the first time, and everybody thought she was dead. She, she was like, you see her? You see that thing, too, and all that? So I thought that was good. Lucy Laws did a phenomenal job. And, you know, just thumbs up to her, man. I, I love her to death. And shout out to my boy, my the, the guy Man, another great just stand up performance and he wasn't even in the show for that long. My boy Doc Tory slash Onimaeus, man. He was in there for just a little bit and man, it was a scene where he, these people are trying to uh get him because he's worth a lot of money, all right. He's got a bounty on his head and you know that these robbers, whatever said, uh they'll let him go if they give him Spartacus because Spartacus is, is worth ten times more. So he ends up beating their ass like it ain't nothing. I was like, yo, this black guy, man, this one black guy, I do not want to fuck with, man, because this guy is dangerous. It's the reason he was a uh, doctory. It's the reason why he's just a plain out bad ass. And Automaeus, he doesn't go by a doctory no more. So, you know, I won't say that word no more. But, man, that guy, he's the truth. And, you know, shout out to Crixus, too, because Crixus, for some reason, this episode... Why is Crixus the one with the, the the proper head on his shoulder? Like Crixus is the one that's focused in this episode, and I love it because you know we're we're um we're used to seeing Crixus as as the gore, the animal, the one that's about you know just killing and all that. But he has one goal that's finding Navia, and you know he's got a he's it's a point in this episode where he has to put Spartacus in check because Spartacus goes goes to try to fight by himself and. You know, Crixus has to slap his ass a little bit. You know, has to knock the shit out of him to say, yo, what the hell are you doing? You're going to mess up everything for me to find my, my Navia. And you can't. Ha we can't have that because if we can't find Navia, then I'm beating everybody's ass. So Crixus had to put Spartacus in check. And I like that because Spar that's when Spartacus knew that, you know, he needs to start thinking with his head because he's so consumed with this vengeance that he forgets that, you know, He's a leader now, you know, he's a leader and he has all these slaves and all these gladiators behind him and he has to protect them and he can't just go out gunslinging. So I really like that. I thought the writers did a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job at telling this uh, story. And I can already tell by watching the first episode that this uh, ser this uh, season is just going to be bigger, grander, it's going to be on a big scale and everything's just gonna be epic because stars basically said you know what what do you need for this new season the writer said we need more titties bigger set scenes more titties blood titties yeah titties yeah titties oh yeah so everything is just a lot big grander and i love it and i can't wait to see more all in all i thought it was a phenomenal episode it was a great way uh to bring back everybody who loves spartacus it was a great start to a brand new season um if you liked uh spartacus before you're gonna love it again uh people might be a little hesitant because they have a couple new characters you know with navia she's brand new spartacus so he you know he's new because of the situation and but like I said, you know, um, we all knew Andy was good. We all knew he was great. Um, he, he had a special place in my heart, man. Uh, when I watched him, um, I saw great things with him. I thought he had a bright future ahead of him. I mean, he was already acting, but I thought after doing Spartacus, uh, when I saw him in Spartacus, I was like, man, this this guy is good. So uh, my thoughts and prayers are out with his family. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. But, you know, it's time to move on. Uh, we have a new Spartacus, so we have to be, have an open mind because, you know, it, uh, it's even tougher on him because he's filling up some big-ass shoes. So you, I feel for the guy because, you know, uh, I wouldn't want to, you know, fill Michael Jordan's shoes or something like that, you know, because you can't. It's hard. So he's doing the best that he can. That he, 
that he uh, has, and I think he's doing a phenomenal job. So please like this video, comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought, uh, tell me what you want to see in uh, this new season. What are you most excited to see? Um, I'm going to try to get uh, um, a review up for the first uh, season and the prequel. Uh, I might, I don't know, but you know, I will be getting uh, the new season reviews uh, frequently. You will see all all my reviews for the new season, so please look out for that. And this is the Search Show 24-7. Be easy.